fan reaction. Oh, that might be out. Don't get caught out. Subscribe now to the following on podcast. Available on Acast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. They faced bitter prejudice. What they had to endure was horrific. They battled injustice. Basically, they threw the rule book away. But their talent was inextinguishable. And they rose to become sporting icons that etched their legacy on the history of English football. What a strike! What a finish! Coming in from the cold is an exclusive six-part documentary that chronicles the struggles and the triumphs of black footballers in the English game. Join Jessica Crichton as she uncovers the untold stories and hears firsthand from a host of superstar names, including John Barnes, Viv Anderson, Luther Blissett, Andy Cole, Rachel Yankee, John Fashionu, and many more. These guys went through it all, and they are true inspiration. Coming in from the cold. The history of black football is in the English game. Listen to the full series now, available on Acast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Tom Rennie here to tell you about a new soccer podcast called Week in the Tackle with me and Brian Dunson. That's right, Tom. Well, join us for new episodes every Monday as we argue about all the top soccer stories we think are worth tackling. Plus, we'll welcome the occasional guest to join in on the debate. Strong opinions, big stories, no agenda. Week in the Tackle, available on Mondays from wherever you get your podcasts. If it's a big story in soccer, we'll tackle it. Got an unquenchable thirst for sports? Get up to speed with the day's biggest sports stories with the Talk Sport Hit. Crammed full of the latest team news, big match previews, and discussing the day's hottest topics. Then improving week in, week out. Plus, get all the latest results and full fan reaction to the biggest events in world sport. It's a wonderful goal! Satisfy your thirst for sports news with the Talk Sport Hit. Subscribe now on Acast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You're listening to Talk Sports coverage of Liverpool against Manchester City from Anfield. I'm your host, Tim Long. Alongside me, former West Ham Wolves and Leicester striker David Connolly. This is Premier League Live. Ahead of this famous fixture in this famous old stadium will take a final check on the two lineups with the teams making their way out for Liverpool it's Allison in goal a back four of Milner Matip Van Dijk and Roberts in a midfield of Henderson Fabinho and Jones and then Salah Jota and Mane the front three for Manchester City Edison the goalkeeper the back four Walker Diaz Laporte and Cancelo the midfield Rodri De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva and then Grealish Jesus and Foden the front three and this place packed full of over 53,000 people making some noise, all of them with their scarves aloft. And uh, they will perhaps even show more appreciation to their history and tradition today, coming together to celebrate the life and the career of Liverpool legend Roger Hunt, who sadly passed away on Monday at the age of 83. Liverpool out there in their all red kits. Manchester City arriving from the blue side of Manchester. As this famous anthem reverberates around Anfield, the managers take their seats in the dugout. And there will be a tribute to Liverpool's all time record league goal scorer. 285 goals altogether in 492 appearances over 11 years from 1958 to 1969. During that time, he won two league titles, scored three times as well as England won the 1966 World Cup. And Liverpool will be desperate to honour Roger Hunt with a win in this huge game at Anfield this afternoon.
Fantastic respect and appreciation shown to honour Roger Hunt as the two sets of players peel away to take up their respective formations either side of halfway. City have had some good results against Liverpool recently, although remarkably they have not won back-to-back -back league games against the Merseysiders since 1937. Something they'll look to change here today. And Liverpool have won just one of their last seven matches against City in all competitions. And uh, this season, they are unbeaten in the Premier League as the two sets of players take a knee on the referee's first whistle in support of equality for all. But Liverpool, so far with wins against Norwich, Burnley, Leeds and Palace, they've been held by Brentford and ten-man Chelsea at home here. David, we're about to find out if the real Liverpool are back. Well, yeah, I mean, look, it's going to be... Um, I mean, that was very emotional, wasn't it, with... Uh, Roger Hunt and obviously Jimmy Greaves only recently as well two brilliant great goal scorers that we've now lost but yeah getting on to the game should be a great one long ball straight through towards Sadio Mane and off his goal line and out of his box in a flash came Edison to head the ball out of play for a Liverpool throw a fast start from the home team yeah they're not afraid to play that ball in behind Liverpool they do like a longer ball just to push City back and obviously they've got those threats on the back line as well this time it's Milner playing it swiftly forward down the right. Liverpool attacking the goal across to our right and already Edison's being tested. Salah trying to play it back to Milner who starts again at right back for Liverpool today. Completely unchanged from the 5-1 win at Porto in the Champions League on Tuesday. City just the two changes and they're struggling to get out right now as Liverpool press although a free kick has gone against the home team. Well, I don't know, didn't see too much wrong with that. I think maybe a little bit of a strong challenge on Cancelo went to ground we just have to wait and see I'm sure Foden looks like he's uh, operating off this left hand side we can just see it oh, just trying to play out there City but looks like Foden's playing off the left the game really had started with uh, a ferocious energy about it I think Grealish is down through the middle you know it looks like maybe Grealish is going to play as that false nine I'm pretty sure we'll see them all down the middle at some point won't we such a fluid and flexible front line but they can't get the ball forward at the moment Henderson a chance to cross from the near side towards the near post turned away only as far as uh, the edge of his penalty area Grealish back on the edge of his own box at the moment to try and help Manchester City clear and they do with a purpose to De Bruyne he lets the ball drift across his body before going through the gears and through the centre circle as well will Foden remain onside on the left here flag stays down it's pulled back towards Gabriel Jesus who that time was in the centre but then the flag goes up and it wouldn't have counted even if City had generated the opportunity oh it's a lucky it's a really good break I can't recall I couldn't quite see who played the pass out for City almost in their own box it's a brilliant one to De Bruyne just to relieve the pressure and he then carried the ball past Fabinho trying to slip in Phil Foden who is just just fractionally offside I think two and a half minutes played here on uh, Premier League Live with Talk Sport Liverpool nil Manchester City nil and the ball uh, at the feet of the Liverpool goalkeeper Allison, who goes long towards the chest of Mane cushions it back down to uh, his teammate Diogo Jota Virgil van Dijk yet to taste defeat here at Anfield Matip back to Allison. City's turn perhaps to try and press although not as tenaciously or effectively as Liverpool have done so far and Liverpool given a bit of room to pass the ball inside their own half long diagonal across towards Mane again who seems to be the target but City tidy up this time and De Bruyne turns it back to Edison well you just think with those longer balls they've got to be a really good one because Liverpool don't really have the height today in the front unit to flick it on it's got to be to feet or dropped in on the chest Bernardo Silva coming forward down the left finding Foden who's right on this left touch line Grealish again does look to be down the centre Gabriel Jesus on the right and he receives it now from Kyle Walker of the three in that front three Grealish the last you'd expect to be down the centre and he tries to get on the end of a through ball there but runs out of room yeah just slightly over here I mean, he gives a little thumbs up there Grealish straight ball diagonal run just trying to get in behind British record £100 million signing from Aston Villa in the summer two goals two assists in eight appearances so far in City Blue well, you see Dirk Cow talking, you know, a former Liverpool player over in Holland now saying they paid three times too much for him. Here's Mane making a move towards the near side of the penalty area on the right. He's come across to join Salah. Mane forced against the touchline though and 
ball over him from behind was Ruben Diaz snapping at his heels and forcing the ball out for a throw he's so strong though wasn't he Mane I mean Diaz tried to get him down drag him down but he just held him off super strength from him Liverpool dominating possession in the opening four and a half minutes against Manchester City have it with Van Dijk in the sunshine at Anfield long ball forwards towards the right where Milner's got forward here trying to cushion it down to Salah on the corner of the box but intercepted by Cancelo and a chance now for Salah to get in behind Cancelo after the ball comes back his way excellent recovery although uh, Salah's not going to give it up without a fight Milner tries to squeeze the cross in from the byline it stays in play towards Mane might come down on the edge of the box and Kyle Walker should finally clear for Manchester City it's all a little bit panicky at the back from City in the opening five minutes, David. Yeah, maybe Cancelo could have just dealt with that earlier. Once you've got Mo Salah just sniffing around, you know, you've got to clear that danger much quicker. In the end, he was robbed of the ball. Milner got to the ball, line. good ball to the back post. It's a good start here from the home team, as you'd expect. You know, roared on, as you can hear by the home crowd. Lovely piercing forward ball, slicing right through the midfield. Mane trying to... Easily. Van Dijk comes up from the back for Liverpool along with Matip. Corner from the near side. Milner, right footed, out swinger. A few towering on the edge of the six yard box. Salah takes it on the half volley from a tight angle far side, blocked off the backside of Jack Grealish. Robertson back in from a deep position near halfway. Still plenty of big bodies up there from the back for Liverpool, but City should be able to sort it out now at the feet of De Bruyne on the edge of his own box. He was targeting Jack Grealish, but it skims off the Anfield turf and straight back to the Reds. Henderson's ball over the top towards Mane and Walker nods it back to Edison. But Liverpool showing early on that they can pass it long over the top. They can also slice through on the turf, can't they? They can mix it up and City have plenty to be concerned about. Well, they're giving the ball away too cheaply again. Rodri just with a giveaway. He made amends, didn't he, there with the interception. He gets it back from De Bruyne here. Liverpool pressing with Robertson to try and take it off to Bruyne who keeps hold of it and uh, Grealish plays a 1-2 with Rodri and then gets a whack from the youngster Curtis Jones just 20 he's got uh, a goal and a couple of assists already this season in five appearances Curtis Jones and has really earned his place in the 11 he played eight minutes here on Premier League Live Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil. it's been all Liverpool Walker over on the right City may be the first real chance to establish the spell of possession here and they want to keep the ball Dave to suck the life as much as they can out of the crowd yeah they do but you know when they're under any sort of limited sort of pressure they're giving it away you know, you need to make sure they keep it there they go long again and you know they're trying to drop the ball into Phil Foden and it's just over here you know so yeah they've had a spell of possession but as soon as they're under any sort of pressure they've given it back Foden there like frustration personified already inside the opening nine minutes disappointed with the pass out to him and uh, Liverpool have it back they've got a real spring in their step at the moment Milner goes long from right back and partially cleared Henderson trying to keep the attack alive Cancelo keeps it in though for Manchester City on the near side Salah will try and win it back Rodri does well to shuffle his feet and let it move across his body to evade Mo Salah and Manchester City have the ball at the back here well, it just seems like those longer balls, those longer passes Liverpool are playing, it's almost just to push that City back line really deep so then they then can, you know, sort of play through them as well. So they're mixing the game up, but it's deliberate. You know, it's almost old school in, in sort of tactic terms, but it's worked so far. The port arrows it with his left across to the right. Manchester City have not paid the price for Liverpool's flying start and now they'll try and build something of their own De Bruyne trying to thread it through again runs out of room Gabriel Jesus chasing on to the through ball that was over hit and behind for a Liverpool goal kick yeah they're maybe not quite showing the same patience that Liverpool are in possession City 
Liverpool happy to show patience here as Curtis Jones goes back to Van Dijk. Henderson being closed down by Grealish, moves it on to Matip. There's uh, sunshine over on the far left quarter of the pitch. The rest of the pitch is uh, covered in shade at the moment here at Anfield as Henderson goes with a curling ball over the top towards Mane, but Walker nods it down to Edison. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a really good bit of football, but, but Carl Walker is so narrow because he's worried about Mane, whereas actually the pass to play from Henderson there is not to Mane, it's out to his fullback because he's in so much space because Carl Walker is so narrow. That's the threat Mane possesses, but you know, once you bring your fullback in narrow, the space is out wide, and Henderson, Henderson's got to realise that. Grealish dropped deep to receive the ball. City lost it. He thought he was fouled. Nothing doing from the referee, Paul Tierney. But there is there. There's Liverpool win the free kick. Five yards off the edge of the centre circle inside the City half. Yeah, lovely feet here. I think it's from Mane. Little nutmeg on Diaz. Just comes off into the pocket, off the line. Infield narrow. Looking very, very bright here, Liverpool. Good start. Van Dijk has come forward to take the free kick. To take it square and short to Matip and clips it over the top out towards the right to the chest of Milner cushions it down pulls his cross back towards Salah near side of the penalty area Henderson glides the cross in towards the back post didn't get enough elevation on it and City able to head clear yeah might be expecting a little bit more there from Jordan Henderson again they look to do something they've, they've turned the ball they've got it back and he's just ran it straight off the pitch you mentioned that City won this fixture 4-1 last season it ended a run of 17 away league games without a win here against Liverpool for them they'd drawn five lost 12 of those previous 17 with fans of course in attendance they weren't last season and uh, it's as if Liverpool want payback for that result here today and also payback for City snatching their Premier League title off them last season Henderson to Salah clipped out of bounds off the heel of Phil Foden and Liverpool have a throw 20 yards from the corner flag on the near side no one to take it. They don't want to let City rest. Back it goes to Matip. Liverpool looking to make the most of this positive start. 12 minutes played, 0-0. Matip receives it from Van Dijk. All of the outfield players for Liverpool inside the City half. Van Dijk's just ran back into his own half in the centre circle. And Manchester City are trying to keep their defensive shape. Not too much pressing going on at the moment. A little bit wary of the threat that Liverpool can offer. Salah in particular as he tries to stab it in field to Henderson who uh, couldn't quite reel it in City really have been flustered as they try and pass out from the bat they kick it straight out of touch into uh, Liverpool possession again uh, it's Laporte this time I don't know if I've seen City so bad in possession as I have here so far Walker does find a teammate far side in the form of Gabriel Jesus who plays it short to De Bruyne he clips it from the right to the left of Foden now looking to get over halfway. Phil Foden was absolutely excellent as a, a teenager in that big win here last season. Laporte across to the far side, high hanging ball taken down by Walker. Walker passes past a couple of Liverpool players in towards the feet of Grealish, but Virgil van Dijk had telegraphed that and nicks it back for Liverpool. Now Rodri has it for City. A battle for possession in the centre of the pitch and Manchester City have the ball but they haven't yet been able to do anything with it Laporte this time Liverpool will sit back and uh, allow the City centre back to have the ball before then Jota puts a bit of pressure on and forces it back to Edison wonderful atmosphere at this stadium now oh, we've missed these atmospheres over the course of the last couple of years it's a good ball up towards Gabriel Jesus he tries to cushion it into his path from his chest but presents it to Liverpool De Bruyne sees the ball drop to his feet nice pass through the centre circle to Bernardo Silva but Salah getting back to try and close him down Cancelo down the line evades the challenge of Milner now Grealish can get one on one here with Matip into the area looking to swivel the ball towards the far corner and Matip was right on top of it yeah a little bit predictable there from Jack Grealish what he was trying to do nice run though into the channel and he just faced up Matip got him into the box but it was too obvious what he was trying to do get it in onto his right foot and just open it up and bend it in that far corner but a little bit too predictable a quarter of an hour in Liverpool nil Manchester City nil here on Premier League live you can get in touch with us on Twitter at TalkSport Live. 
such a big game so early in the Premier League season of course Manchester City had another one last weekend that they dealt with ever so well beating Chelsea and then had a huge game in the Champions League in midweek as well losing 2-0 in Paris but uh, they're well versed in taking on big clubs and big challenges and succeeding in doing so and they're certainly facing a challenge here in the form of Liverpool Joe Cancelo will take the throw on the near side a regular left back this season Kyle Walker starting on the right Cancelo of course has played on both sides throughout his career let's throw again here Grealish back to Cancelo with his right foot from the left he switches it across to Jesus who has to retreat 10 yards inside his own half to recover the ball from the right he does seem to be holding that position out wide on the right which is an interesting ploy from Pep Guardiola and we've not really seen why I suppose just yet David no we haven't I mean I, I just, unless he's trying to maybe get now the run is down the left and backpedalling is Allison after thinking about coming out to the edge of his box. Foden gets there. Bernardo Silva near side of the penalty area. Three to aim for in the centre. Stands it up towards Gabriel Jesus at the back post. And we very nearly had our answer, didn't we? But Robertson gets there to head behind for a corner. Yeah, unless we're, maybe he's trying to attack into that space that Robertson leaves. but Or, you know, trying to maybe suck one of the centre-halves out onto, onto Grealish. But either way, you, you know, it's quite surprising because obviously Jesus is uh, obviously number nine but good ball to the back post and good good header away from Robertson, knew where the run was Jesus got his winner against Chelsea last week from a centre forwards position Foden will take the corner, Ruben Diaz has stood right in front of the goalkeeper who punches away under pressure it was a strong play in the end from Allison. Liverpool are looking to turn it into a counter-attack but Bernardo Silva is there to break up that possibility on halfway just over the last couple of minutes Manchester City perhaps finding a foothold in this game yeah just trying to deliver the ball right on top of um, Alisson there they put Ruben Diaz on the goalkeeper just tried to put him off in the end it wasn't the most convincing punch from Alisson who if you go back to this game last season had an absolute nightmare didn't he be desperate to keep a clean sheet today especially after conceding three goals against Brentford last week otherwise Liverpool's defence has been fairly sound in the Premier League this season clean sheets in four of the first five games they only conceded one to Chelsea and then three last week given away by Alisson here he might be made to pay by Manchester City again Gabriel Jesus he's on the left this time and Joel Matip bails out his goalkeeper by turning the ball behind for a corner well we've just spoken about talking to Devil about Alisson his nightmare last season here he is trying to play his way out a really poor kick straight to Bernardo Silva slips it wide to Jesus it's an awful cross in though I mean he's got to cut that back he's got Grealish on a penalty spot De Bruyne are not far behind him poor ball in we've seen a corner for Manchester City from the far side this one from the near side taken short Foden back to Grealish inside the box near edge of the penalty area all the way back to De Bruyne in a deep position back in towards Foden who got in behind but he couldn't direct his header appropriately a good five or six yards wide in the end but it looked to be one off the training ground with De Bruyne holding his position and playing quarterback and picking out Phil Foden as the receiver yeah not a bad idea this time rather than put it on top of he's the offside goalkeeper, isn't he? he's offside yeah the last one they put on the keeper this one they took it short worked it well but it was clearly offside I mean Foden's got to look along the line there he's got no excuse to be offside so 19 minutes played, Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil here on Premier League Live. The first 15 minutes belong to Liverpool, the last four perhaps have seen City look to get on top. And they have the ball again. At the back, Rodri, a triangle of passes all the way back in the end to Edison in goal who hammers long with his left. And so long, it'll go coast to coast all the way through to Alisson. Edison was the world's most expensive goalkeeper when he signed from Benfica in 2017 and then Liverpool blew that fee out of the water on Alisson a year later up towards De Bruyne on the right being held up by Fabinho there's appeals on the far side from the Anfield faithful given away by Henderson picked off by Bernardo Silva here Foden wants it in space on the near side but 
So many Liverpool players snapping around at the feet of Bernardo Silva. He wasn't able to get his head up, but he's still got the ball. And he's dribbled past three of them. Now he does find Foden. Tremendous play. Foden stopped by Alisson, who makes a big, sprawling, spreading save from close range. Should have scored. Should have gone first time as well, Foden. What a run from Bernardo Silva. And Cancelo not quite on the same wavelength as Gabriel Jesus, as Jesus made a darting run into the far back post and the cross from Cancelo hung in the air far too long and went behind him but Bernardo Silva he beat three or four Liverpool players there who were pressing as intently as they possibly could it was a dazzling dribble that very nearly conjured up perhaps the assist of the season yeah absolutely the dribble was one thing but the pass then through to Phil Foden was outstanding in behind and I think he's got to go first time he takes a touch that just allows Alisson to come out and close down the angle he makes a really good one-handed save there. It was uh, almost Lionel Messi-esque, wasn't it? The assist attempt from Bernardo Silva. Players of uh, similar size. Bernardo Silva was strongly linked with a move away, wasn't he, after the signing of Jack Grealish, but he's been a regular starter for Pep Guardiola this season. And uh, we're seeing it again on the monitor in front of us. It was absolutely delightful. <laughs> Jordan Henderson, the run around spinning around in circles that actually starts from Kevin De Bruyne with a really poor pass gave it away Henderson then conspired to lose it immediately and then Bernardo Silva got it back and it's sort of comedy of errors really but in the end a wonderful dazzling little Maisie run and pass through to Foden I think he has to go first time there I'm surprised he's tried to dink it I think he should have just either had a quick short touch and laced it low but instead he took a touch and, and, and obviously because Alisson came out and closed the angle so quickly felt he had to dink it and that's where Alisson made the save he's not played too much this season Phil Foden it's only his third start of the campaign three substitute appearances as well he has got a goal and a couple of assists already a big call from Pep Guardiola to stick him in so much talent on the bench of course with uh, Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez both replaced Ferran Torres there as well Long ball down the left for Liverpool. Mane, far side of the penalty area. First time left-footed volley in towards the head of Salah. Might come for Milner at the back post. Foden getting back defending rather uh, awkwardly as he bundled into the body of Milner and deflected the ball behind. It looked like it was off his right shoulder initially. Well, I think it's, it's Milner here who makes a mistake. I don't know why he bundles into... I don't know if he's given a free kick here, but bundles into Phil Foden. Maybe they didn't quite have enough players in the box there. A little bit slow to get up and support Mane. If you are going from back to front quickly, you need players to get up and support as well. And right at the midway point of the first half here on Premier League Live. Still waiting for the breakthrough. Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil. In this uh, big game towards the top of the Premier League, the winner would go top. And ahead of uh, the international break. Liverpool by a point, Manchester City potentially on goal difference. Chelsea there at the summit right now. Matip in towards Salah. No time to control the ball with Cancelo breathing down his neck and then making a run further on as well down the left. Cancelo into plenty of space. Now Liverpool are scrambling back here. He's waiting for support from Grealish. Drags his studs over the ball. Delightful idea in towards De Bruyne who flashes across the far post. Cancelo that time pulling the strings and uh, picking holes in the Liverpool defence. Well, I think De Bruyne feels that this took a little nick here, but if it doesn't, I mean, is this a cross or is it a shot? Because by De Bruyne's standards, this is a disappointing finish. I mean, he's got to lace this and go for goal instead. Does it take a little nick of Van Dijk? I don't know, it's hard to see. It's left-footed from a tight angle, but it's always curling away from the goal, isn't it? And actually goes out to play for a throw on the far side. Bernardo Silva trying to nick the ball around Curtis Jones to maybe draw the contact there, but a throw in to Liverpool is the decision on the far side. And stretching back into last season, Liverpool have gone 16 league games without defeat. It's uh, the longest ongoing unbeaten run in any of England's top four divisions right now. 12 wins, four draws in that spell. They uh, produced a late surge to ensure Champions League football, didn't they? last season when it looked for so long like they might miss out Alisson's header proving to be uh, a pivotal tide turner and they've started the new season strong as well in front of these fantastic fans at Anfield Manchester City growing into this first half though 
And they've had the best chance of it after the uh, tremendous work from Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden just unable to lift the ball over Allison from close range. Out towards Cancelo, touching the ball to Grealish. Cancelo gets it back down the left to Bruyne in field to Rodri. Away from Jota, who was trying to press and defend from the front, across to Kyle Walker, far side for Manchester City. Down the line it goes to Gabriel Jesus on the right wing, where he's remained for the vast majority of the opening 25 minutes. Rodri to Jesus, to Walker. A little stab through by Bernardo Silva. Mane on the stretch diverts it back to Van Dijk, who clears left-footed the bobbling, bouncing ball. Jota's in a wrestling match to try and get in behind Ruben Diaz here. He feels he's been pulled back after getting the better of the Manchester City centre-back who's wearing the captain's armband today and that indeed is the decision of Paul Tierney, the referee as well who's presented Diaz with a yellow card Yeah, it's the right call, I mean he just misses his clearance here and just tries to have a little pull back on Jota the ball or the man, neither, neither's getting past him if one does he's taking the other one out, misses the ball so that means he's got to take Jota out going back to Jesus, I mean he's offered absolutely nothing has he so far on that right wing absolutely nothing, I don't know, I don't know maybe what pops Pepsi's but he likes to try and bamboozle us doesn't he always has something up his sleeve deep free kick for Liverpool to try and get the ball in here Robertson launches it all the way through but too much on it and comfortable for Edison to claim about 12 yards out terrible throw ball it straight back to Robertson who lets it run for a throw takes it quickly as well to get the better of Bernardo Silva although Manny miscontrols a little bit scrappy at the moment here is Gabriel Jesus on the right what can he do with it this time he loses the ball to Robertson Mane stretching for it Walker though diverts it back looking for Edison and that scrappy spell continues because Kyle Walker volleys the ball from about 30 yards away from his goal behind for a corner yeah I mean obviously so much at stake here although it's early in the season but these two know pivotal game and a, a lot of unforced well, you can't call it unforced errors because there's pressure all over the pitch but certainly by City standards and, and the players are on the pitch too many passes going astray it'll be an outswinger again for Liverpool this time the left boot of Andy Robertson the left back in towards the near post it dropped onto the turf on the near corner of the six yard box where it was stabbed clear Liverpool happy to go all the way back to square one to Alisson He delivers out to the right wing where Milner has still got so much energy to get forward and keeps it in play as well. Or at least it looked initially like he might have done. He slides off the pitch into the advertising boards and uh, directs the cross into the clutches of Edison, although he had run out of room. Liverpool will press here as City try and pass out from their own penalty area. It's chipped forward from the near side of the box to Grealish. He struggled to get on the ball too much as well, but he gets it here from Bernardo Silva. Closed down by the Liverpool captain, Henderson. Phil Foden skips away from Henderson, slips in the pass, but he's not on the same wavelength as De Bruyne, who uh, hadn't made the diagonal run that Foden was expecting. And in the end, Alisson comfortably out just to pick up the loose ball. It was unlucky because, again, lovely little bit of footwork from Bernardo Silva to Grealish, then out wide to Foden. And he, he tries to pick out a run of De Bruyne, but De Bruyne doesn't make that run. And he's been a little bit off-colour as well so far, De Bruyne. Some of his passing is not his usual Christmas, giving the ball away a little bit, you know, uncharacteristically. He's not been involved too much this season, has he, Kevin De Bruyne? He did start that game against Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League on Tuesday. The PFA Player of the Year the last two seasons. Had a direct hand in 33 goals in 35 games in the Premier League a couple of seasons ago when he tied... Omri's 17 year old record of 20 assists in a campaign although uh, despite a series of injuries last season he still had 18 goal contributions in 25 appearances you might be able to hear on our FX microphones the frustration and we do apologise for any bad language picked up of the Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson but Emotion certainly running high today. Blue skies overhead. Over the top of the stand on the far side here at Anfield as we view from the near side where Liverpool looks to come forward down there. Right wing in front of us, Henderson's throw down the line. And the ball 
Now to play a little bit further forward for another throw to Liverpool. Pretty much right on the half hour mark now. Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil, still the score. One big chance in the game that's fallen to Phil Foden, stopped by the Liverpool goalkeeper Allison. Mane over on the left, hasn't seen too much of it since that opening 15 minutes. Matip square from Van Dijk. Matip forward into a pocket of space, closed down by Foden. Comes into the right channel to Henderson. Salah's got chalk on his boots on this near side. Right wing for Liverpool. Henderson had gone on on the overlap ahead of him from midfield and it's straight into an offside position. Yeah, I think Jordan Henderson wanted it off Mo Salah here. Really didn't want the ball going inside, then going back out to him. He knew he was offside. Didn't really want the ball back there. And it's just lost a little bit of his early energy and quality and tempo. Certainly that Liverpool possessed in the opening stages has gone a little bit. Until that uh, midweek defeat for Manchester City in Paris, they Ooh. were a wall. Well, that is a risky pack pass, isn't it, from Ruben Diaz? Because the goalkeeper Edison had to retreat pretty much onto his goal line and play it back out under pressure. And City have played it all the way out to De Bruyne on the edge of the centre circle. And he's running through the centre circle and finding Foden in space now. Milner getting back at him. Did he trip Foden there? Picks himself back up. Then goes down at the second attempt. And I think that will make up the referee's mind for him. Oh, I mean, Milner, I think he clatters into him. And yeah, he does go down. He tries to stay on his feet. But then eventually he does hit the deck. That could have easily been a pen. Cancelo, Grealish will be offside, I think, if he gets to the ball here. The flag stay down for now. And Grealish has whacked it all the way across goal and out to play on the far side look to be certainly offside but the protest will continue from Phil Foden well I can understand here I think it's justified Foden breaks into the box he's got Milner pushing him from behind I mean maybe if it was a foul it would probably be outside anyway I think the first contact is outside but it's a definite it's, close. it's a definite sort of um, coming together with the legs and it's yeah, a foul it is a foul yeah but I, I just wonder whether it's right on the edge I think if they had a look at that the fact that Foden tries to get up and stay on his feet to get on the end of the loose ball makes it easy perhaps for Paul Tierney not to give it and uh, then when Foden realises he's not going to get on the end of the loose ball he goes down again Walker's been tripped here by Diogo Jota in the Manchester City right back position Jota shakes his head you know, it's Liverpool frustrated but I think they've got away with one yeah I mean I, I think it's irrespective if he tries to stay on his feet or gets back up I think if it's a foul it's a foul well that's the problem though isn't it Dave because we'd like to see players stay on their feet but if they're not going to get the decisions when they do that then they are going to go down aren't they yeah why would you try and stay on your feet if you're not going to get the decision it's a prime example he slides on his knees to try and maintain his balance. Here is Foden again now. Look to shake off that disappointment and to shake off Milner again, though he can't do that because Milner blocks the attempted cross out of play for a throw on the near side. Yeah, great defending from Milner. Just got tight enough, you know, just a yard away, knowing that if Foden does shift that and he tries to cross it, he's close enough to block it, and he did. Brilliant. Bernardo Silva gets it back to Cancelo down the left. Cancelo gets away from Henderson. A little fortuitously via a deflection. City happy to go back to the centre circle to Ruben Diaz. The one player in the game on a yellow card so far. And it comes towards this near side to Bernardo Silva now. Right on the left touchline, stabs it down the line to Foden. Foden looking to get the cross in this time, does get it past. And De Bruyne coming in with a diving header 10 yards out. Can't direct it on target, but there was not a Liverpool player near him. Oh, it's got to hit the target. I mean, what a ball this is in from Phil Foden. Fantastic whip ball to the back post. De Bruyne completely unmarked. Just goes off Curtis Jones. Robertson doesn't know where he is. He's diving almost in line with the back post about seven yards out. Gets right under it, though. And then just heads it about five yards over the bar. Really poor attempt. I mean, that sums up De Bruyne's afternoon so far. I mean, if he heads that down, back where it came from, it's a goal. Big chances for Foden and De Bruyne for Manchester City and, of course, a big penalty appeal from uh, Phil Foden as well for the challenge a few moments ago from James Milner. It remains nil-nil here on Premier League Live between Liverpool and Manchester City, but after that positive start from Liverpool, it is now all the Blues here at Anfield. De Bruyne can't control the ball. Now Liverpool might have a chance to counter. Curtis Jones to Jota, down the line to Manning. Mane over on the left looking to take on Walker, two very dynamic athletic players in that 
position on the far side. Robertson goes on, pulls it back to Henderson, who strikes it on the volley from the edge of the 18-yard box. But I think Robertson was offside over on the far side of the pitch anyway. Yeah, excellent defensive line here for Man City. As soon as Marley checks back and Robertson has gone on the underlap, that City line just squeezed a couple of yards. That's all they need. Knowing that if the ball does go through to Robertson, he is going to be offside. Excellent defensive line from City. And then when a cross comes back to Henderson, although he is offside, it's not going to count from Robertson, but why he goes with a first-time shot like that, bouncing in front of you, such a hard skill. He's got to control it. Milner plays the 1-2 with Matip. Triangular passing now involving Henderson, who gives Salah something to chase, but also chasing and uh, then clearing away is Amerik Laporte. Henderson's throw to the feet of James Milner. Might well have slightly clipped Phil Foden on the edge of the penalty area, James Milner, but he showed an excellent turn of pace to try and make up the ground at the age of 35. Matip showing a turn of pace here from centre-back, getting towards the edge of the Manchester City penalty area, but cut short before he could enter it. He's quite a remarkable football player, isn't he, James Milner? 35 years of age now, as fit as anybody, yeah. and able to play in pretty much any position on the field. Yeah, incredible. I mean, they're blessed like that, aren't they, in terms of if, if Trent isn't available or whatever, you know. Robert certainly got Simicass, obviously. They've got Milner, can slot him right back, play midfield, isn't he, as well? He's a two-time Premier League champion with Manchester City. Of course, James Milner, before adding another title with Liverpool a couple of seasons ago after arriving on a free from Manchester City in 2015, what a free signing he's been. One ball forward that Walker will then nod back to his goalkeeper, and this time avoids giving away the corner kick as Edison picks it up on his byline. 37 minutes play here on Premier League Live, Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil is still the score. And Foden might get in again, it's been all Phil Foden on this near side, Milner slipping. Foden looking towards the back post, too close to the goalkeeper perhaps, almost came through and still does to Gabriel Jesus. Now De Bruyne miscued the shot as he moved back towards the edge of the box to try and swivel. And uh, it was uh, a tame effort in the end that Liverpool blocked comfortably. It was just the wrong sort of ball in from Foden, fabulous run and pass in behind just to get behind Milner, brilliant. And they're coming forward down the left again, Manchester City with Cancelo and Grealish this time. Grealish holds his run on the overlap to avoid going offside and City pass back to halfway to Laporte and then Diaz instead. They're happy to take the patient approach this time. Walker across to the right to Gabriel Jesus. Jesus to De Bruyne, far corner of the box. He gets the cross in towards Grealish, turned away by Milner. And Liverpool looking to pass their way out. Mane passed a lot of though by Fabinho. Rodri gets to it. And now this Anfield crowd is frustrated. Manchester City dominating the ball and creating the chances. Yeah, they just need to get hold of it again, Liverpool. I mean, City had a spell like this in the first half where they're under pressure and kept giving it away. Liverpool are doing the same now. Bernardo Silva to Rodri. Under pressure from Curtis Jones. Diaz to Walker. City so comfortable and assured with the ball at their feet. Laporte. Really progressive forward ball to Bernardo Silva. Rodri, not pressed and able to chip the ball across to the chest of Gabriel Jesus on the far touchline. He gets his cross in early, flat, and it will be headed all the way through towards Grealish on the near side. He nods it back to Cancelo. Salah's back there in a right-back position defending against Grealish. Grealish jinks onto his right foot with his socks around his ankles, slipped through by Cancelo towards Bernardo Silva, but picked off by Milner in the end. And Liverpool look to counter-attack, but they've not been able to do that either. And Gabriel Jesus gets back to intercept and to get Manchester City back on the ball. Again, you know, they turn it over Liverpool. One or two passes later, straight back to City. Good spell here from Man City as you come towards the end of the half. De Bruyne, they're getting better and better the longer this game is going on, City. Jesus to De Bruyne, inside the box, left-footed shot, blocked against the back of the calves, it seemed, of Van Dijk, and then shipped out of his own penalty area by Milner, but Salah can't control, Cancelo wins it back, Bernardo Silva, Liverpool really under pressure here at Anfield, Grealish turning edge of the box, Matip got a toe to the ball, pokes it forward to Henderson, he finds Jota, Mane in the way, can he turn it on to Salah? No, he can't, because Bernardo Silva is getting back to block that passing lane, and all of those skillful, creative Manchester City players are doing their job defensively as well to ensure Liverpool can't get out. Well, if Mo Salah can't get hold of it, then what hope have Liverpool got? 
Foden, he keeps getting hold of it in space as well. More space for Bernardo Silva out to his left on this near touchline. Home fans trying to give Liverpool a boost here. They need it. Cancelo across to the far side to Gabriel Jesus. Into the final five minutes of the first half, still nil-nil. Jesus on the right now. In the patch of sunshine, which is getting smaller and smaller. Fading away like the minutes of this first half. 41st minute now as City pass and prod and probe. Jesus on into the penalty area, far side, pull back towards Grealish, Matip able to get there into intercept, Gabriel Jesus looking to win it back, goes to ground, wants a free kick just off the far edge of the penalty area, he's not going to get one from the referee nor the assistant, but that was a bursting run forward from Kyle Walker from right back that put Liverpool in further trouble, but they survive again. Yeah, fabulous this was from Kyle Walker, I mean the ball comes across to him, he lets it run through his legs, then sprints to the byline, gets the return pass and then spots Jack Grealish and to me Jack Grealish just caught slightly on his heels he's got to expect this ball from Carl Walker he doesn't Matip nips in and obviously committed the foul eventually and Liverpool have got it back but they didn't make the most of that and certainly Jack Grealish didn't City so disappointed to lose in Paris in midweek but seven games unbeaten in all competitions before that winning six of them and that run for Pep Guardiola's side including impressive victories over Arsenal 5-0 remember Leicester as well, Leipzig, and last week, of course, Chelsea. They've been the better team here against Liverpool. Foden past Milner again. Milner pulls him back and will be greeted by the flash of a yellow card from Paul Tierney. Yeah, fabulous play here. I mean, I just mentioned about how tight Milner was getting when they're crossing the ball. This time he gets a little bit too tight, but too far outside the box. And a big first touch from Foden. Burst past Milner and he just brings him down for the foul. He's got to tread carefully now, Milner. And the 35-year-old right back up against the 21-year-old Phil Foden. Well, I mean, this game last season was the coming of age for Phil Foden, and this one's not too far behind him. He's certainly grown into this game, hasn't he, the last 25 minutes or so. He's done everything but that final ball, hasn't he? That's what's missing at the moment. He's shimmied around James Milner a few times, and this time to the reward of a free kick that he takes himself and it bounces through the penalty area and through the six-yard box and drifts behind nobody was making a run onto it. Yeah, that was, I mean, I don't know what was wrong there. I mean, Phil Foden sort of pointing to his teammates saying, well, why weren't you running in there? I mean, it's an outswinging delivery, so the only issue of an outswinging delivery from that side, left side, Foden's on it, you put that too far in front of players, they're never going to get on the end of it, you know, so maybe that was a case where Foden just need to, just need to bring that ball a little bit further back towards his own goal Liverpool have mustered just one shot in total in the opening 43 minutes seven for Manchester City but just one of those on target the save from Alisson to stop Phil Foden Salah might get on the end of this Laporte nods it back though to Edison and that was a vital intervention yeah because Ruben Dias I don't know what he was doing here Ruben Dias just got to deal with a ball instead he sort of half lets the ball drop then makes a really poor attempt at clearance straight into the path of Mo Salah had to be rescued by Laporte passed out to Rodri who drops towards the two centre-backs to receive it from his goalkeeper Edison De Bruyne turns it on to Walker City really functioning well in terms of moving the ball through the thirds of the pitch and attacking Liverpool here happy to go back to Edison and he will Go long this time, looking for a run of Foden, who's in behind Milner again. Foden one on one, can he get around the goalkeeper, Allison? He slides down, gets a leg to it, but the danger's not away. Grealish inside the near corner of the penalty area, across to the far side it goes to Jesus, two yards off the edge of the box. De Bruyne there, Liverpool now with a red wall back behind the ball, looking to survive the remaining seconds and moments of this first half. And that just seemed far too easy, didn't it, for Edison to get Phil Foden in one-on-one. -on -one. Cancelo, down the line to Foden again. He's uh, torturing Liverpool right now, and the goalkeeper, Alisson, who tips the cross away, and out of play for a throw on the far side. Well, Alisson rescues, rescues Liverpool here by coming off his line so quickly, closing the angle down. Foden tries to take it around him on the edge of the box, but comes out brilliantly again, Alisson. Super save. It looked like he was just going to skip past him there, Foden, and then he was going to place it he'd place it into an empty net. Jurgen Klopp's got to do something about that situation, hasn't he? Well, he's got no Trent, is he? He's not even on the bench. Not too sure who else could play right back. Jordan can, Jordan Henderson possibly, but, I mean, look, James Moore is an experienced player, but 
I mean, the way they got through Edison with that raking diagonal, and James Milner just, I don't know, maybe he just didn't quite see the ball early enough. Foden skips in behind, tries to go around Allison, who's come nearly to the edge of his box. Super foot in, though, from Allison. Foden was just quicker, wasn't he, that time? It was essentially one into that position from Edison, and it was a foot race to the ball. And Foden was facing the right way to give himself a head start as well. And is playing on that yellow card, too, so that's a problem for Liverpool. Survived a few scares in this first half and it remains nil-nil here on Premier League Live. We're halfway through the only added minute at the end of the first half. Curtis Jones to Matip. Matip looking forward, Mane looking to make a run, but Matip finds Milner. And Liverpool happy just to keep the ball instead. Jota They're passing out the final seconds of this first half Matip to Milner they might be passing with a purpose though as Milner tries to or Matip rather tries to turn it on towards Henderson Henderson keeps it in place close down by Foden back to Milner no time for the cross though as Paul Tierney blows the half-time whistle it's been an intriguing half at Anfield we're yet to have the breakthrough despite the very best efforts of Phil Foden who has twice been denied by the Liverpool goalkeeper Alisson Kevin De Bruyne with a glorious chance as well a free header at the far post flying in failing to hit the target Liverpool have only had one shot in the whole of the game so far and it remains Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil. you're listening to Premier League Live Got an unquenchable thirst for sport? Get up to speed with the day's biggest sports stories with the Talk Sport Hit. Crammed full of the latest team news, big match previews, and discussing the day's hottest topics. Been improving week in, week out. Plus, get all the latest results and full fan reaction to the biggest events in world sport. It's a wonderful goal! Satisfy your thirst for sports news with the Talk Sport Hit. Subscribe now on Acast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts talk sport 20 years old and still not able to make a cup of tea that's a great starting point i think excuse me with bitter experience comes great responsibility let's go to cumbria and fraser fraser good morning hello fraser get out of that lane the nation's first and best commercial sports radio station live lubricated and legendary 20 years of talk sport Previously on Wyvern Jordan. This is rewarding mediocrity. No, 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 it's not. It's the exact opposite. Two towering giants of sports media. He's got COVID-19. He's got Newcastle wanting to sue him. He's got broadcasters pulling money out of deals left, right, centre. You wouldn't want to fly with this guy, would you? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Double trouble, daily drama and searing debate. Continues weekday mornings from 10 on Talk Sport. 20 years of Talk Sport. Gentlemen, good evening. There's no such thing as an overnight success. Accrington Stanley 4, Titanium Plasmatronic Death Droids from the Future, nil. Excess. I wasn't getting up, I was just getting in. Excitement. Excuse me, I was And extremely strong opinions. I spend my life covering the big games at the big level. On DAB, medium wave, and on your smart speaker. 20 years of talk sport. Previously on Wyden Jordan. If you haven't bought, owned, managed, sold a player, managed a football club, sat in a boardroom, sat in a dressing room, what exactly do you know? 100% engagement. The Football League is a league which is a busted flush. You're obsessed with that subject. You do know that. <laughs> Jim White and Simon Jordan. High Octane Radio. Continues weekday mornings from 10 on Talk Sport. The Women's Football Weekly Podcast. With Faker Others. All the action, excitement and drama from across the entire women's game. Clean off the line by Steph Horton. Including the Women's Super League. Ellen Wright is there to tap it in. The UEFA Women's Champions League. Lana Clellan striking from outside the penalty area. And the Euro 2021 qualifiers. Over here to the area to Ensley. And Ensley's going to finish it off. Plus, all the home nation's international friendlies. Lucy Bronx with a strike from the edge of the penalty area. World beating big match conversation. There's Jody Taylor. Subscribe now to the Women's Football Weekly Podcast on Acast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back to Talk Sports coverage of Liverpool against Manchester City. A huge game in the Premier League at Anfield, but we're still waiting for the breakthrough. Now he 
does find Foden, tremendous play, Foden stopped by Alisson, who makes a big, sprawling, spreading save from close range. Should have scored, should have gone first time as well, Foden, what a run from Bernardo Silva. Foden looking to get the cross in this time, does get it past, and De Bruyne coming in with a diving header 10 yards out, can't direct it on target, but there was not a Liverpool player near it. He's got to hit the target. Really poor attempt. I mean, that sums up De Bruyne's afternoon so far. I mean, if he heads that down, back where it came from, it's a goal. David Connolly alongside me, Tim Long, for this one. Three big chances for uh, Manchester City. The uh, one after that was Phil Foden trying to take it around the Liverpool goalkeeper, Alisson, who just got a leg to the ball to stop him from doing so. But there was also a big moment as well, wasn't there, in terms of the penalty appeal. James Milner coming across and slightly clipping the leg of Phil Foden. He has been the danger man, Foden, and that matchup with James Milner could prove pivotal. It'll be yeah. interesting to see what Jurgen Klopp does about it at half time. Absolutely. I mean, just looking at all the highlights, everything we've heard there and seen, it is all Phil Foden down this left. Um, he had so many opportunities. He mentioned the possible penalty that, you know, he tried to stay on his feet, which is admirable, but probably the wrong decision. Put the ball in the box for De Bruyne with that header, which he should at least hit the target with, completely unmarked flying in. Uh, he was unlucky to nearly go around Allison, but he made a great run in behind. James Minow just lost him. He's too quick. And then he tried to dink the goalkeeper, and I think he could have just hit first time. So he could have had two or three goals so far, Phil Foden. You can understand that Liverpool would be confident they're unbeaten in the Premier League. They started so well, didn't they? The opening 15 minutes, they were the team on top, really rattled Manchester City, who couldn't get their passing together. Only one shot in the whole of the first half, though, from Liverpool in the end. What happened? City just got hold of the board, didn't they? And Liverpool couldn't get it back. Yeah, they sort of settled down a little bit. I mean, um, I thought they started very well, Liverpool, in terms of retaining the ball. Manchester City just kept making so many unforced errors. You know, giving the ball away, passing it off the pitch. And, you know, maybe it took them a little bit of time just to just to get hold of it. I mean, I think Bernardo Silva made one mazy, brilliant run and through ball. And, you know, I don't know. They just seemed to... That, that so, was almost like the trigger, wasn't yeah. it, that run? And then things, things turned on that moment of magic as he twisted and turned past pretty much the entire Liverpool defence. Yeah, exactly. And that, sometimes that's, that's all it takes, you know. Maybe their confidence just grew a little bit, you know. And, and obviously the more times they got the ball out of Phil Foden, the more dangerous they looked. What do you expect in the second half then going forward in terms of any possible changes? Will Liverpool maybe look to come out and, and do what they did at the start of the first half in the second, try and get a bit more control back in the game? They can't keep allowing Manchester City, surely, to have this much possession. Well, I'm sure Pep Guardiola will be saying, you know, James Moon has already been booked, so you've got to keep giving it down, putting it down their side to Phil. You know, Phil's having a great game. What he does with Gabriel Jesus, I don't know, because he's as great as Phil Foden has been on the left. You know, Gabriel Jesus has offered nothing off the right hand I mean, We side. haven't really seen Grealish either have we no too much. And not at all down through the middle so uh, you know he certainly needs to get a little bit more out of all of that front unit and to be honest you know De Bruyne yeah, yeah apart from Phil Foden they haven't really offered much let's be frank so he's the one it's like a one man team at the minute for City quite strange there's been no shortage of goals at home for City this season six against both Leipzig and Wickham five against both Arsenal and Norwich but away from the Etihad a completely different story they have been the better team here but it's two goals in five and a half games now away from home they failed to score in Paris of course in midweek they failed to score at Spurs and at Wembley against Leicester and in the first half here so we'll have to see if that changes but 22 goals in five home games two goals in five away games quite a remarkable difference yeah although what I would say is I mean they've got they've got a nice couple of journeys they've got this one you know they've got Burnley at home and so for them these, this is like kind of a rest right playing in the northwest. so um, they're going to take it while they come I, I think the goals will come for them you know just got to stick with it I think some of the players look a little bit rusty you know and that's what you get you get wrong decisions poor finishing when players aren't playing regularly or you know, haven't hit the back of the net regularly. De Bruyne, for example, you know, had chances. Foden hasn't played regularly, so, you know, maybe if he was, he might have taken some of these chances. And, and their finishing just looks, it's not far away, all their plays, just that finishing is the final touch. There's uh, three games that are already finished in the Premier League today. Let's get some more details about those. Now, Crystal Palace 2, Leicester City 2 was watched by Rich Wolfenden. Before today's game, all the odds pointed towards a draw, and that's exactly what we got at Selhurst Park this afternoon. But that's not to say it was a dull game. 2-2 the final score, as both sides committed to an attacking display. First half was all about Leicester City, but it might not have been if it wasn't for Joachim Anderson's howler, Kelechi Iheanacho, picking the pockets of the Palace man to give his side the lead. But then, not long after, top scorer Jamie Vardy made it too, after some great play by Harvey Barnes. It's now 6-7 in, in the Premier League for Jamie Vardy this season. 
But in the second half, Palace came out fighting. Michael Elise came off the bench, and that seemed to give the home side some belief. Elise executing a brilliant volley to get one back for the home side and his first Premier League goal. But it was another sub who saved the day. Jeffrey Schlupp with a powerful head at 20 minutes from time meant that the points were shared. Crystal Palace 2, Leicester City 2. Eight points from seven games so far for Leicester, who've fallen six points off the top four. Before today, ready, and uh, Crystal Palace seven points in seven so far. Now also Tottenham two, Aston Villa one, a big win for Spurs, watched by John Howick. A change in system brings a change in fortune for Nuno Espirito Santo as Tottenham get back to winning ways in North London. Spurs reverted to a 4-2-3-1 formation that allowed Tongi and Dombele to pull the strings in the midfield and make the most of Tottenham's attackers. The breakthrough came when Pierre-Emil Hoiberg won back possession on the halfway line, played a 1-2 with Son before placing a curling effort into the bottom corner to break the deadlock midway through the first half. The goal allowed Spurs to play with more confidence and attacking flair, but they failed to take their chances and Villa capitalised in the second half. Ollie Watkins grabbing an equaliser from Matt Target's cutback to stun the home crowd and test Tottenham's resolve. But Spurs responded immediately. Son broke down the left and played a low ball across the face of goal for Lucas Moura to reinstate their lead. Frustration for Dean Smith but a very close game here in North London as Tottenham claim a vital three points and ease the pressure on Nuno. Final score, Tottenham 2, Aston Villa 1. Tottenham up to 8th, 12 points for them, so just 2 points off the top 4 now. Aston Villa in 10th with 10 points. The other game earlier on today saw West Ham concede a 94th minute goal to lose at home to Brentford, who won 2-1. A fantastic result for Brentford, we've already discussed. They're up to 12 points, only 2 points off the top 4. West Ham in uh, 9th a point further behind. A tough result for David Moyes' side. We've still got the second half of Liverpool against Manchester City to come here in the English top flight. You're listening to Premier League Live. It's the ultimate fusion of football and celebrity. The Best 11 podcast from Talk Sport. Johnny Owen and Mark Webster interview the biggest names in popular culture, looking back at the role the beautiful game has played in their lives. Paul Weller. Could I just start off apologising for last weekend? <laughs> Actor Stephen Graham. Good morning, Stevie. Good morning. Sharing their earliest football memories, how they celebrated their team's successes, culminating in their all-time best 11. Noel Gallagher. Let's deal with the hangover and let's have it again after that. The Best 11 podcast. Subscribe now on Acast. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Tom Rennie. Join me for a weekly podcast, Week in the Tackle, available wherever you get your podcasts. I'm going to be joined by Brian Dunsef, MLS legend, to tackle the biggest stories from the week in soccer. And the great thing about working with Tom and making Week in the Tackle is we're only going to be covering things we think are worth tackling. This show is all about passion. What's going to get us riled up? What's going to get you riled up to give us all something to chew on? We're not here to sit on the fence and tell you the stories of the day. That's what your phone's for. You'll be scrolling through Twitter while listening anyways. Exactly. I'm scrolling through Twitter right now. I'll save you the trouble. It is all bad news. This show is about tackling all the news of the week, giving our take on why it's interesting and why we think you should know. Who should be sacked? Who should be bought? Who should be sold? Who was right? Who was wrong? Strong opinion, big stories, no agenda. Week in the Tackle is available on Mondays from wherever you get your podcast. If it's a big story in soccer, we'll tackle it. Got an unquenchable thirst for sports? Get up to speed with the day's biggest sports stories with the Talk Sport Hit. Crammed full of the latest team news, big match previews, and discussing the day's hottest topics. Been improving week in, week out. Plus, get all the latest results and full fan reaction to the biggest events in world sport. It's a wonderful goal! Satisfy your thirst for sports news with the Talk Sport Hit. Subscribe now on Acast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. The Women's Football Weekly Podcast with Faker Others. All the action, excitement, and drama from across the entire women's game. Clean off the line by Steph Horton, including the Women's Super League. Ellen White is there to tap in. The UEFA Women's Champions League. Lana Clellan striking from outside the penalty area. 
and the Euro 2021 qualifiers. The edge of the area to Ensley, and Ensley's going to finish it off. Plus, all the home nation's international friendlies. Lucy Bronze with the strike from the edge of the penalty area. World-beating big match conversation. There's Jody Taylor. Subscribe now to the Women's Football Weekly Podcast on Acast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back to Talk Sports coverage of Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil from Anfield. I'm your host, Tim Long. Alongside me, former West Ham Wolves and Leicester striker David Connolly. This is Premier League Live. Anfield awaits the return of the two teams for the start of the second half here. We'll uh, have to see if there's any changes, but plenty of uh, attacking talent in particular on the two benches. Manchester City, if they continue to uh, fail to find the go-ahead goal, have the likes of Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez who were dropped from the 11 today, Liverpool have Roberto Firmino who uh, could play a pivotal role off the bench as well, but it's uh, defensively that they're a little short with James Milner in trouble on a yellow card at right back, we'll have to see if uh, anything happens there, in fact Joe Gomez is going through a, a fairly rigorous warm-up out on the pitch right now Dave. Well, if that's rigorous, come on, Tim. <laughs> he ain't moved the muscle, he's just booted the ball. But he's a bit more rigorous than Robert, Roberto Firmino, who's just sitting on his ass, you know, in the dugout. So, not too much movement from uh, the Liverpool subs. Maybe there isn't going to be any changes. I mean, Keita came out, but I, I, I think he's not going to take someone as experienced as Jim, James Milner off just yet. He'll know, look, you've been booked, you've got to tread carefully. I think it's rather than replacing James Milner, it's about how you get him help, isn't it, from somebody else. He's so often been isolated against Foden because Manchester City have played it out to that side pretty quickly. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm not so sure. You've seen this of Oli, you know, leaving Fred on when he's been booked and then he gets sent off. It is a balancing act when you've got a defender up against a winger who's so quick and so dangerous. If he's on a yellow, you, you can't take any chances. James Milner has got away with one as well. Uh, challenge on Foden that uh, led to the Manchester City appeal for a penalty it, uh, remains to be seen, we haven't seen conclusive evidence as to whether it was on the line, inside the box or outside the box, have we? But it certainly looked to be a foul, it didn't seem to be checked to uh, vigilantly by the VAR it looks like there's no changes Jack Grealish ready to take the kickoff at the start of the second half. So for Liverpool, Allison in goal, Milner, Matip, Van Dijk, Robertson along the back. Fabinho, Henderson and Jones in midfield. Salah, Jota and Mane up top. For Manchester City, it is Edison in goal, Cancelo, Laporte, Diaz and Walker. Rodri, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva in the midfield. Grealish, Jesus, Foden up top for them. They're in the all-blue kits, attacking the goal across to our right. Liverpool in the all-red, trying to uh, get the ball for the first time in this second half, attacking the goal across to our left. It's Kyle Walker on the ball at the moment, and Manchester City, it seems, will try and dominate possession, as they were doing for the last half an hour of that first half. Just see if anything's going to change with their front line in terms of where they line up. You know, I'm sure you know, they didn't really get enough out of Jesus and maybe Grealish either. In that first 45 but it looks like Grealish yeah and Jesus are in the same position so nothing too much change there Pep Guardiola happy enough with uh, everything pretty much coming through Phil Foden on the left it seems I think the ball struck him here didn't it so he's actually gone all the way back to the goalkeeper to Edison to give it to him to restart play so Paul Tierney in the way the man in the middle so take two for Edison Kyle Walker down the line to De Bruyne almost intercepted by Robertson who cleared it against De Bruyne and out towards this near side and then had to scamper back into position but De Bruyne's passing has been off hasn't it so far today yeah that just hit the trailing leg of Fabinho but there was no real angle to get that through anyway and yeah it just hasn't been one of his better games so far Curtis Jones on the left for Liverpool cuts in onto his right into the centre to Henderson halfway inside the Manchester City half Fabinho out towards Salah we've not seen much of Mo Salah since the opening 15 minutes Milner's gone ahead here flashes the ball into the near post where it's pounced upon swiftly by Edison yeah not the best ball in though for Milner I mean he's just blasted this across the box about sort of chest height too close to the goalkeeper anyway and he's got to try and cut this back he is onside although it's tight yeah it's too easy for the goalkeeper to claim and has the ball at his feet this time under pressure but he's so relaxed isn't yeah, he he rarely <laughs> feels the pressure 
really nag. I mean, it's almost horizontal the way he plays that ball. It's so casual. Greenish with the casual back heel over the top towards Foden, who sees Matip right on top of him to try and win it back. Matip again there, but the free kick goes against Liverpool this time. A few angry fans on their feet on that uh, far touch line. As Phil Foden hobbles away from that area of turf. Well, it's certainly a completely different game from last season when Foden was fantastic in that game. Nobody here, but obviously he's got fans screaming down his neck on that side. So close to him, but obviously not affecting him. Playing brilliantly. Grealish trying to turn it around the corner first time. Intercepted by Henderson. Now a chance for Liverpool here into the penalty area. Lovely turn from Jota, but he turned into Ruben Diaz, who got a foot on the ball, and vitally so. It was vital, you're right. He was just about to tow that through to Mo Salah, who was completely unmarked to the right-hand side of the box, but terrific towing. Bernardo Silva showing a nice swivel on halfway and then out towards Gabriel Jesus. A, a rare few touches for him on the right. And number nine passes all the way back to halfway to Ruben Diaz, who picked up a yellow card in the first half. Diaz, the only City player on a yellow, Milner, the only Liverpool player on a yellow. Look at Ruben Diaz again. A switch of play towards Grealish, who's the furthest across to the left now, and he takes it down against Milner who gets his body in between the 100 million pound signing and the ball and uh, ushers it over the byline for a goal kick yeah now if that was out to Phil Foden playing that side he would have opened his left foot out and taken it on his left foot and skipped away this time it comes to Grealish on the left he tries to do the outside of his right the smallest part of your foot just skips away from him too close to Milner and runs it off the pitch so that's the difference maybe out there Curtis Jones under pressure from De Bruyne and Gabriel Jesus gets it back to Van Dijk who gets it forward Jesus desperate to try and get back now with Mane attacking down the left he wants to help out Walker defensively forces him back to Curtis Jones infield to Fabinho City now have uh, everybody back behind the ball Matip lovely pass through and a turn again from Jota fantastic play and he stings the palms of Edison who then rises to catch the deflected ball through over the top as well. It was a save you would expect Edison to make, but two sharp turns on the edge of the penalty area from Diogo Jota in the space of the first few minutes of the second half. Yeah, the pass into him from John Matip is absolutely magnificent to the edge of the box. Lovely little left foot Cruyff turn, and he just gets away from Diaz and flashes his shot across the goal. Edison got down well, though. Plenty of power on the left-footed hit, but not the precision. It was pretty central to Edison's goal. A nice height for the goalkeeper as well. It's taken around 50 minutes, but Liverpool have mustered a shot on target. And their first significant chance of this big game here today. Jesus to De Bruyne, it's starting to open up perhaps, and Kyle Walker has looked to burst past Virgil van Dijk, almost got caught in his gravity as van Dijk holds off the right back who had found himself in a centre-forwards position. Yeah, he's made a couple of marauding runs on the inside, not on the outside, Carl Walker, a lot of times on the underlap today. Nearly picked out there. City having to try and attack from different avenues, different angles, and Jesus on the right, 40 had been pulled down, but he uh, yelps across towards the assistant, doesn't get the answer that he wants, and Liverpool have the goal kick. That is just strong play there from Robertson. Liverpool have started to pick it up again here. Both uh, defensively and offensively. Six minutes into the second half. It remains Liverpool nil, Manchester City nil. Virgil van Dijk out to Curtis Jones. Robertson on the left. Trying to sweep it forward. Intercepted by the retreating Gabriel Jesus. And out for a Liverpool throw. Mane receives it from Robertson and uh, goes back to Van Dijk Jones Van Dijk again the linchpin in the Liverpool defence finds Matip who's really grown as a partner alongside him Henderson across to Milner Milner to get the cross in blocked by Foden forcing Phil Foden into some defensive work in that matchup so often it's been the other way around Fabinho Van Dijk, Liverpool now starting to move the ball well. Robertson down the line looking for Jota who's coming across to the left. Bumped by Kyle Walker. And the referee blows his whistle. And Walker is annoyed at the call. Well, this is interesting because is there much 
you know, dissimilar to Phil Foden's, you know, stumble in the box. Jota stumbles here, a challenge from Walker gets up, but then actually gets the foul, I think, for the first contact. So it's outside the box, right? I mean, I don't see anything different with a Phil Foden one there. What do I find most uh, bemusing about that penalty appeal in the first half from Phil Foden is they didn't really check it, it seems, in terms of the VAR. It, it warranted a good look, didn't it? it? Didn't appear to get one. But anyway, Liverpool much improved in the second half, have a free kick on this near side. Robertson and Milne are the two contenders. It's only a yard off the near touch line. On uh, Liverpool's left. Milner takes it right-footed, in-swinging towards goal, punched away by Edison. Back out as far as Jones, tries to guide it over the top for Salah, and Edison again is so quick off his line, and so quick to release as well to Foden to try and spark a counter-attack. Foden with a long ball towards Gabriel Jesus, who controls it high on his chest, up against Robertson. You could see what Jesus was trying to do, and pass to uh, Bernardo Silva, who made the break forward, but he didn't get enough power on it. Liverpool intercepts, and now look to turn that defensive platform into a counter-attack of their own Jota looking to drop to halfway and show he can run with the ball at his feet as well it's a swift pass across to Mo Salah one-on-one -on -one with Cancelo far side went down edge of the penalty area Cancelo able to uh, get to the loose ball and to poke it away but this game David has really started to open up here in the opening 10 minutes of the second half yeah just a heavy touch there from Mo Salah when he just runs it into Cancelo, brilliant play from Jota, and then he switches the point of attack to the other side, but it's just a heavy touch from Jota, takes him into Cancelo, when I mean, there's a little coming together, but a yard inside the box, nothing wrong with that, maybe Mo Salah, not the back on that, if his first touch was better, he was in. Salah with eight goals in eight games so far this season, five and six in the Premier League, seen too much from him today but there's plenty of time left for him to leave his mark free kicks for Liverpool comes in headed away by Rodri Grealish I'd say the same about him today he shows a little flash of his quality by dragging the ball away from a challenge finding Bernardo Silva over on the far side Rodri on halfway now looking forward happy to go backwards though 10 minutes into the second half Liverpool nil Manchester City nil here on Premier League live Laporte back to Ruben Diaz. Nani and Salah half pressing. The two City centre backs comfortable with the ball at their feet. Bernardo Silva on the left. Congested on that side of the pitch. And uh, that forces City back as Laporte has to retreat into a left back position. And they look to figure out the best route to get the ball forward. Rodri gives it away and trying to do so. Pinched back by Milner, who's then clipped. And that will be a yellow card now for Cancelo. It looks like it. It's a poor pass from Rodri. I mean, someone's just written here, I think De Bruyne has more misplaced passing in this game than his entire career. and Probably not too far off that. I just look at City and I think, uh, just a gay said something after the PSG game when he said, you know, we defended well and to be honest, you know, City didn't have any pace to hurt us. And you think, well, unless Carl Walker goes on the underlap or... You know, there's a burst of pace from Phil Foden. They don't look like really troubling Liverpool in behind. Grealish is not particularly quick, is he? De Bruyne is not particularly quick. Jesus, you know. Milner, deep free kick, crossed into the box towards the head of Van Dijk. Headed on by Jota, but that'll be comfortable to grab on his six-yard line for Edison. Talked about Liverpool starting the second half the way they started the first. It has been a little bit like that better team in the opening 15 minutes of this game the better team over the first 11 minutes of the second half of Manchester City this is where they started to control the game at around this point in the first half they'll try and do so again in the second with a crossfield ball from Walker all the way to Foden picked up on the far touch line by Grealish although just out of bounds Liverpool throw parallel with the edge of their own penalty area well they've tried that switch of play a couple of times Man City you know and it just one from Jay Zeus which was cut out easily that one from Carl Walker and it just hasn't come off it might be better just trying to play a little bit of a shorter, shorter passing game. Milner. Back to the goalkeeper, Alisson. 